The biggest problem with Parkinson's disease is not what people tell you, it's what they don't tell you. I see her every few months. She's a little girl, maybe eight. She has kind of a Victorian nightdress, I suppose. Dark, shadowy eyes, very pale complexion. And I see her usually in an attitude of prayer, almost. She has a neutral expression, never really smiles, never really frowns, certainly never speaks. I don't have a name for her, I've never given her a name. And why should I, of course? Because she's a hallucination, she's not real. And this is what the mind does when it's, it's pushed by circumstances. Take a wild imagination, a lack of sleep, powerful drugs, and this is the result. I think this is grossly underreported. When you ask other people with Parkinson's confidentially to say whether they have hallucinations, the figure is much higher. Many more people say they have hallucinations when talking to a fellow person with Parkinson's than if they're talking to the medical profession. And it's understandable, I think, because hallucinations are so stigmatised, I think, that we, we walk away from them. But the biggest worry often is that if you have, say you have hallucinations to your physician, they, there's a perception that you feel as though you're on the road to, the road to madness. We need to get to the bottom of this, we really do, because hallucinations are scary for people who have them, but they also need to be addressed, and we can only address that if we're honest about it and open. Most people suffer in silence.